Thank you for purchasing the Transmitter Solutions 433 MHz 2 relay standalone receiver. The 433 standalone receiver is a single conversion super heterodyne receiver which can receive and decode the Transmitter Solutions 433 rolling code transmitters. The receiver can be connected to any type of mechanical device such as a gate operator, garage door, rolling shutters, awnings, burglar alarms, or lighting controls because of the dry contacts of its relays. There are two relays one with a normally open or normally closed signal and the second with a normally open signal. The transmitter memorization is completed through one programming push button. The rolling code serial number of the transmitter is stored in the internal EEPROM of the main processor. The 433 rolling code receiver can store 85 separate transmitter buttons. Some of the receiver's features are full memory cancellation or single transmitter bu button cancellation. Additionally, one of the relays may be configured to be in either pulse slash momentary mode or step slash toggle operating mode by means of a jumper and pins. The receiver has one programming push button and two programming LEDs. The LEDs will indicate the various programming steps in which you are engaged. As you will need to perform these various programming steps, I will demonstrate each one. First, you need to make the proper connections from the receiver to the device you are controlling. Please refer to the wiring diagram included in your receiver for proper connections. The 433 standalone receiver can be powered with either 12 volt or 24 volt AC or DC power. Please note that when installing the receiver, that location is very important for the best operation of the system. Place the receiver far from interference sources such as big magnetic fields, electrical overhead lines, or external radio emissions. The antenna positioning is also very important for the best reception. Before you permanently install the antenna and a receiver, it is advisable to make some tests of the installation location. For coaxial antennas, it is advisable to use a shielded cable type RG58 with a maximum length of 50 feet. Transmitter Solutions manufactures an optional coax antenna kit that meets these requirements and that has been tuned for optimal performance with the 433 standalone receiver. Transmitter Memorization Select the relay to be programmed, either the red relay or the green relay. Push the programming button for two seconds or until the red LED illuminates and then release the button. Within two seconds of the red LED's illumination and releasing of the programming button, momentarily press the desired transmitter button you wish to store into the receiver memory. The LED will blink and the relay will cycle, click on and off, indicating a proper transmitter memorization. At the completion of the memorization, the LED will remain lit for approximately four more seconds so you may further memorize other transmitter buttons. If no additional transmitter buttons are memorized, the LED will turn off after four seconds and this concludes the memorization procedure. The receiver has a capacity total of 85 transmitter buttons, so you can store button 1 of 43 transmitters in the red relay and 42 of button 2 in the green relay or 85 of button 1 in the red relay, etc. If you are programming two button transmitters into the receiver and want button 1 to activate the red relay and button 2 to activate the green relay, simply push the programming button for two seconds or until the red LED illuminates and then release the button. Within two seconds of the red LED's illumination and releasing of the programming button, momentarily press button one of the transmitter you wish to store into the receiver memory. The LED will blink and the relay will cycle, click on and off, indicating a proper transmitter memorization. Then before the red LED turns off, push the programming button again until the green LED illuminates. Now push button two of the transmitter button you wish to store into the receiver memory. The LED will blink and the relay will cycle. Click on and off, indicating a proper transmitter memorization. If you wish to enroll multiple transmitter buttons at the same time, enter into the programming mode by pushing the relay programming button for two seconds or until the corresponding LED illuminates, and then release the button. Momentarily push the transmitter button of the transmitter you wish to store into the memory. After the relay cycles and the LED flashes, you may continue entering transmitters one at a time. With each new transmitter button memorized, the LED will flash and the relay will energize. Click on and off. 
After you have entered all of the transmitters that you wish, the receiver will exit the programming mode within approximately 4 seconds. You may store up to 85 transmitter button in either of the two relays. Be certain to enter each consecutive transmitter before the programming time of 4 seconds has elapsed. Relay Configuration The relays are factory set. The red relay is set in the pulse or momentary mode. The green relay is factory set in the toggle or latch mode. Proceed as follows to change the operating mode of the green relay from toggle to momentary. Simply remove the jumper, JP1, from off of both pins and reinsert onto just one pin. To change back to toggle mode, reverse the process. Single Transmitter Cancellation A single transmitter can be cancelled by following this procedure. Push programming button for two seconds or until the red LED illuminates and then release the button. If the button of the transmitter you wish to cancel is programmed into the red relay, push the transmitter button of the transmitter. Both the red and green LED will blink simultaneously two times to confirm that the transmitter was successfully deleted from memory. If the transmitter you wish to cancel is stored in the green relay, push the programming button for two seconds or until the red LED illuminates and then release the programming button before the red LED turns off. Push the programming button again until the green LED illuminates. At this point, you would then push the button of the transmitter you wish to delete from memory. The red and green LEDs will both flash simultaneously two times to confirm that the transmitter was successfully deleted from memory. You may only delete one transmitter button at a time. For each new transmitter button you wish to delete, you will need to repeat the single transmitter cancellation steps. Full memory cancellation. Attention, with this procedure all of the receiver's memory is deleted. Keep the programming button pushed down for two seconds or until the red LED illuminates. Release the programming button and then immediately push and hold the programming push button again until both the red and green LEDs flash three times. After completing this step, the receiver memory is deleted. Memory full indication. Once the memory is full, if you try to program in additional transmitter buttons, the red and green LEDs will blink simultaneously three times indicating a full memory. Congratulations on successfully programming the 433 standalone receiver by Transmitter Solutions. We hope it gives you many years of trouble-free service. Should you have further questions or need further assistance, please call our technical support line.